Ukraine next, where Russia continues to make slow but steady progress in its bid to capture the eastern territory of Donbass. Russian forces are intensifying their operations around the city of Severodonetsk. The governor of the surrounding Luhansk region says troops have entered the city with Ukrainian forces on the verge of retreat to avoid being surrounded and captured. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has vowed that the Donbass will remain part of Ukraine, whatever the cost. But Russia's progress there is likely to embolden Moscow. This Saturday, the eastern rail hub of Liman became the second city to fall to Russian forces in the space of a week. Catherine Ketter Clifford has more. This footage shows the last moments before Lyman fell to Russian troops. As Ukrainian soldiers tried to evacuate as many civilians as possible under near constant bombing. In the race to get them out, the residents have little time to grab their possessions. What else could we take? We have nothing left. Our mother died there. There was no reason to stay. Provisions are left for those who wish to stay and live under Russian rule. A few hours later, Ukrainian troops flee the town themselves. As they retreat, they blow up the last remaining bridge linking Lyman to Ukrainian territory. <laughs> Russia is stepping up its offensive in the Donbass. In these satellite images, the ground is riddled with shell holes. This town is one of the next in Russia's path. Police are going from door to door to warn residents to evacuate. No one should have to go through this. It's terrifying. My God, it's frightening. Despite the fall of Lyman, Ukrainian President Zelensky continues to insist that the Donbass will remain Ukrainian, whatever the cost. Next, U.S. President Joe Biden.